and I'm so excited to do story time for you. Today I'm going to talk about one of my very favorite things in the whole world, puppy dogs, because I have two and I love them so much. Do you see my shirt? It says dog mom and that's what I am. I have a sweet, sweet little one named Baby. She's part, we think, Dachshund and Whippet. She's a rescue and she's kind of crazy because she likes to run. And then I recently adopted one named Amelia, but we call her Millie. And she's black and white, probably part pit bull, and we don't know what else, boxer maybe? Um, but she's really cute and she's really sweet and she doesn't realize that she weighs 60 pounds. Uh, so sometimes she likes to jump on the couch. It's really fun in my house now. And so I have two and I think I'm gonna have to stop there. Uh, they love each other very much, but of course they fight because they're sisters. And um, so I love dogs. I thought I'd share some of my favorite dog stories with you. And I also want to hear about your pets, especially your dogs. I don't want to make your cats feel bad, but I like dogs a lot. So what are your dog's names? Or you should email us and send us pictures of you reading to your dogs. We love that. It's very important. They really like that a lot. So send us some pictures. Tell us what kind of pets that you have. And because we're really missing you at the library. The first book I want to read to you is called Dogs Colorful Day. A messy story about colors and counting. See this puppy dog? He's wagging his little tail. So cute. The author and illustrator is Emma Dodd. She's done a lot of books. If you like her, you might want to look that up. This is Dog. What a wonderful name. This is Dog. As you can see, Dog is white with one black spot on his left ear. Can you tug on your left ear for me? Good job. At breakfast time, Dog sits under the table as usual. Splat, a drip of red jam lands on his back. Now Dog has two spots. One, two. After breakfast, Dog runs outside. He slips past the man painting the front door. Splish! His tail dips into the blue paint. Now Dog has three spots. Dog runs to the park and rolls on the grass. My dog Millie likes to do that a lot. Squash! The grass makes a green stain uh, on his white coat. Now Dog has how many spots? You want to count them with me? One, two, three, four. His four spots. The dog follows a little boy eating chocolate. Do you like chocolate? Mm. The boy gives dog a chocolatey pat, but no chocolate. Dogs aren't supposed to eat chocolate. But now dog has five spots. A bee buzzes up to see what's going on. Swish. The bee drops yellow pollen as it flies by. Now dog has six spots. Dog trots on through the park. Splash. A drop of pink ice cream lands on his right ear. Now dog has seven spots. Let's stop and count them, okay? A blue dot, one, red, two, pink, three, green, four, yellow, five, brown, six, black, seven. Poor dog. Time to go home. Dog runs up the street. Splash. A bouncing ball spiders dog, dog with gray mud. Now dog has eight spots. In front of the gate, dog steps on a carton of orange juice. Splurt. A patch of orange appears on his leg. Now dog has nine spots. He's going to be sticky. Dog runs back inside the house and knocks right into Vicky. Silly dog. Vicky's purple marker leaves a smudge on dog's head. I love purple. Now dog has 10 spots. Okay, you ready to count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. He has 10 spots. Vicky looks down at dog. She counts his colorful spots, just like we did. But do you want to see the numbers? You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Oh my, Vicki looks more closely. Dog has a red spot of jam and a blue blob of paint and a green stain of grass. And what color is that? Brown smear of chocolate. A yellow patch of pollen. A pink drop of ice cream. A gray splatter of mud. What is that? Orange, right? An orange splash of juice. And Miss Tracy's favorite, a purple smudge of ink. And of course, a black spot on his left ear. Oh, you need a bath, dog. Do you think that's true? Look how good he's doing in his bath. Most dogs aren't that excited about that. When dog climbs into bed, he has just how many spots? One black spot on his left ear. Good night, dog. What a colorful day you've had. I love that story. Do you like taking your dogs for walks? Sometimes they get kind of dirty, don't they? Well, thank you for listening. You did a good job. <laughs> My name is Tammy and this is Violet and we belong to a group called Kentucky Wags Pet Therapy and normally we go to schools and libraries and hospitals and nursing homes and rehab centers and just about anywhere we're invited and we provide people with comfort and companionship for the time that we visit. Um, we have about 120 registered dogs and a couple of cats in our group. They do have to go through a rigorous um, training and uh, registration process. They have to take a big test wow. before they can go places. They become certified and this is what they get when they become certified, a little badge. And you can see that Violet's earned some little bling on her badge. So. Um, no, uh, as I said, we normally go to those places, but we are furloughed because of the pandemic. And so we were very happy to receive the invitation to come down here and say hi to everybody. We miss being in the libraries. That's Violet's favorite place to take a nap <laughs> <laughs> while the kids read. And um, we go to schools and places like that. And normally we go to the fair and the derby festival and do all the special events. So she's missing her public. <laughs> so uh, Violet is about 10 years old. She's a rescue uh, pit bull mix. She came from Shamrock and uh, she's been living with me for five years. So it took about a year to get her ready to be a therapy dog. Long, actually. And it's called Do Your Ears Hang Low? Do you know where your ears are? Do your ears hang low? And it's by Carolyn Jane Church. And there's a special surprise at the end. Are you ready? Look at the picture, that dog. Oh, I love it. Love it. Are you ready? Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Do your ears hang high? Do they reach up to the sky? Do they wrinkle when they're wet? Do they straighten when they're dry? Can you wave them at your neighbor with an element of flavor? Do your ears hang high? Oh, isn't that sweet? I think those puppy dogs like each other. Oh, thank you, Violet. You got to the very end. Good job. Did you like that? This is by Jan Thomas, who's one of my favorite writers and illustrators because she makes books that make me laugh, laugh, laugh. This is one of my favorites. It's called The Dog House. Can you make a face like that? <gasps> I think the mouse is scared. Do you want to see what he's scared of? Let's look. Look, all the friends playing ball. Cow kicks it. They're playing ball. How much fun. Do you see who's here? Mouse, duck, 
pig, oh we missed this one, and cow. They're having a big town outside. Are you ready? Oh no! The ball went into the doghouse. Who will get it? Crack! Oh my goodness, it's thunder and lightning. Look at their eyes. I think they're scared. Cow will, says Mouse. Cow is big. Cow is brave. Cow is strong. Cow said, Moo? So, Cow goes into the doghouse. But Cow does not come out. Where did he go? What happened? Now Cow and the ball are in the doghouse. Who will get them out? See them pointing? Who are they pointing to? Pig. Pig will! Pig is smart. Pig is wise. Pig is stinky. Stinky? I don't think he's very happy about that. So Pig goes into the doghouse. I am not stinky, he says. But guess what? Pig does not come out. Quack, quack. Oh no, they're holding each other because they're so scared. Now Cow and Pig and the ball are in the doghouse. Who will get them out? Look, you see the mouse pushing duck? I think he wants a duck to do it. Duck says, quack, quack. Duck will. Duck is, uh, duck is, well, duck is noisy. Quack, 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 quack. So duck goes into the doghouse. Quack, quack, quack. But duck does not come out. Can't you come out, duck? Do you see the eyes? See the eyes right there? No, because I'm having duck for dinner. Oh, you see the dog? <gasps> Look at Mouse's face. <gasps> duck for dinner. This is dog. He says, too bad Mouse couldn't come too. Cow says, more turnips, duck? Look, they're having dinner together, the four of them. He's not eating duck, but Mouse doesn't know that. Glad you could join us for cake, Mouse. Mouse says, cake? Oh, so Mouse came in too. So now they're all gonna be friends. Mouse was pretty scared there for a while though, wasn't he? Great job listening. Do you like that book? There's another great book by her called, Can You Make a Scary Face? which is really fun. And another one called, Are You Ready to Have Fun? I think that's kind of my favorite because the cows all jump on the couch and they wiggle and they dance. So you should look those up too, okay? <laughs> hey everybody! This is my sweet dog, Annie. Isn't she precious? I love her a lot. Since I couldn't bring Millie and Baby with me, Annie decided to come with me. So we're gonna sing a song. And if you have a puppy dog you wanna grab, or your real dog, but be sweet, or just dance yourself, we're gonna do a little song, or a little finger play with sweet, sweet Annie. She's gonna dance around with you. Are you ready? Puppy dog, puppy dog, wag your tail. See, it's her sweet tail. Puppy dog, puppy dog, let out a wail. <gasps> puppy dog, puppy dog, jump for a bone. Can you do that? Can you jump up really high? Jump for a bone. <gasps> puppy dog, puppy dog, run on home. <gasps> Can we do it one more time? You ready? Puppy dog, puppy dog, wag your tail. There she goes, see her tail. <gasps> puppy dog, puppy dog, let out a wail. Arr, arr, arr. <gasps> puppy dog, puppy dog, jump for a bone. <gasps> puppy dog, puppy dog, run away home. Badoop, 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 badoop. Good job. Yeah. This is called I Got Two Dogs. And it's by John Lithgow, who's an actor. You probably don't know, but your parents might. And it's illustrated by Robert Newbecker. 
And if you love this book, there are several versions on YouTube that you can sing with, including one by John Lithgow. Are you ready? Do you love these dogs? Funny. Are you ready? Look at this. The dogs are getting into stuff. Do you have dogs like that? My dogs just tear up their own toys. They don't tear up anything else. Are you ready? I got two dogs, Fanny and Blue. Bet you kind of wish you had two dogs too. Fanny's all white, Blue's kind of gray. They never ever fight and they never run away. They're not too smart, but they're loyal and true. Oh, there's nothing I'd trade for my Fanny and Blue. And if you want to, at that part each time, you can repeat that with me. So you can say, oh, there's nothing I'd trade for my Fanny and Blue. I got two dogs, Fanny and Blue, always go together like a sock and a shoe. Fanny's a girl and Blue is a boy, chasing after squirrels what they most enjoy. But they love when people pet them and they don't care who. There's nothing I'd trade for my Fanny and Blue. There's nothing I'd trade for my Fanny and Blue. I got two dogs, Fanny and Blue. I walk them in the evening and the morning do. Fanny's really small and Blue's mid-size. Not the kind of dogs that would ever win a prize, but they're happy and they're huggy and they stick like glue. There's nothing I'd trade for my Fanny and Blue. There's nothing I'd trade for my Fanny and Blue. I got two dogs, Fanny and Blue. The little one's 12 and the big one's two. Fanny's kind of slow, Blue's real quick, and neither of them ever learned a single trick. But they're always there to greet you when your day is through. There's nothing I'd trade for my Fanny and Blue. There's nothing I'd trade for my Fanny and Blue. I got two dogs, Fanny and Blue. I don't know what I'd ever do without those two. Fanny goes, yep, and Blue goes, Whoa. Together they go, yep, yep, rough, yep, rough. Best darn dogs I ever knew. Oh, there's nothing I'd trade. No, there's nothing I'd trade. Oh, there's nothing I'd trade for my Fanny and Blue. Good job. I love that book. It's so much fun. I think he loves his dogs, too. I have two dogs that I love, too. Great. Okay. Hey, guys, let's do some things with some puppy dogs. See my puppy dogs? Aren't they precious? I love, look, jumping. You think he's going after a treat, maybe? And I love this face. You know how dogs look at you like, what are you talking about? Can you kind of make that face with me? Like, oh, uh, not sure. So, let's count our dogs. Then we're going to do a little finger play. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> this one's making that kind of head tilt thing, too, right? Are you ready? Five happy puppies playing in the sun. This one saw a rabbit and he began to run. Now we have four curious puppies playing in the sun. This one saw a butterfly and he began to race. Three excited puppies playing in the sun. This one saw an orange cat and he began to run. Two bored puppies were lying in the sun. Do they look like they're ready for a nap? Maybe. This one tried to catch his tail. Maybe that's why he looked confused. This one tried to catch his tail and he went round and round. How many do we have left? One. One lonely puppy sitting all alone. Do you look sad? I don't know. He was so quiet and he never made a sound. Good job. Now we're going to count them back on because I have one more. You ready? One, two, three. Uh-oh, I'm a little crooked there. Three, four. 
four. That's the happiest puppy, I think. Five. Are you ready? Down around the corner at my mom's pet store were five little dogs. One, two, three, four, five. And not one more. Along came someone with a nickel to pay and they bought a dog and took it away. Oh, now we have four. One, two, three, four. Down around the corner at my mom's pet store, there were four little dogs and not one more. Along came someone with a nickel to pay and they bought a dog and took it away. Now we have three left. Down around the corner in my mom's pet store, there were three little dogs and not one more. Along came someone with a nickel to pay and they bought a dog and took it away. And now we have two. One, two. Look at that dog's tongue. You stick out your tongue that far? Okay, down around the corner of my mom's pet store, there were two little dogs and not one more. Along came someone with a nickel to pay, and they bought a dog, and they took it away. How many are left? Just one dog. Don't you think somebody should come buy it? Down around the corner of my mom's pet store, there was one little dog, and not any more. Along came someone with a nickel to pay, and they bought that dog, and they took it away. No more dogs. They all went home to families that could love and pet them. And that's why I love my dogs, because I rescued them. Do you know sometimes dogs either get lost, or people decide they can't take care of them anymore, or sometimes they just get on the street and they can't ever find their owners again. And so you can adopt those animals, those dogs and cats. And that's how I got both of my dogs. And my last dog was really skinny, but now she weighs 60 pounds. So that's a good way. If your mom and dad decide you're ready for a pet, the Metro Animal Services and Humane Society are good places to find them as they rescue dogs and then you can adopt them. I had a great time today. We had a great time with Violet. Wasn't she precious? Hopefully when the library's open again, you can come and meet her in person. And we had some great stories. I hope you enjoyed those. And if you again have a pet, please take a picture of your reading to it and send it to us. And we had a great day. So thank you for coming. I'm Miss Tracy. See you next time. Bye.